There are many places where you can find genealogy records that document your ancestor's marriage. But sometimes there are marriage records that are available online in places you had not considered. So today, we're going to talk about where those places are located and be sure to check the show notes, which are linked in the description, so you can access all the links for the places that I featured today. One of the first places that I go whenever I'm trying to do genealogical research of any kind is I like to go to the Family Search Wiki. It is a great portal page. I'll show you some places that you're going to want to access, and then I will show you another portal page that I love. One of the reasons why I like the Family Search Wiki is that it gives me information as well as link points. So here's an example from the United States, U.S. Marriage Records, and it goes through and tells me how to find U.S. Marriage Records, records of intent to marry, records of marriages, things you may find, lots of great information, and then I can actually go to the separate localities within that larger country, and lots of great information. So I have the information, and then I have the links. So here's another example how to find U.S. marriage records and I can go to Maine, click on Maine, and then it's going to tell me choose a time period. So if I want to find marriage records in Maine from 1892 to 1922, I scroll down there and I have information as well as links, what to try first, second, and third. Very well organized. But some of you say, hey Devin, that is very U.S. centric. Well, what you want to do is type in on Google something to the effect of your country plus marriage records plus family search wiki. Now I could try to tell you how to navigate through the wiki to get here, but I really like shortcuts and this is my shortcuts. So Jamaica marriage records family search wiki and then I have a number of ones. Jamaica online genealogy records, Jamaica marriage records and so forth and when I click on one of these and it has the family search wiki address. It's right up here, familysearch.org slash wiki. If I go to that, then I'm coming to here and it's going to tell me what to try to look for marriage records in Jamaica. You can try this for any country. Now the next portal page I want to introduce you to is Ancestor Hunt. Ancestor Hunt has links to a lot of record collection, not just marriage records. So let me introduce you to the Ancestor Hunt portal page. So here you can see I'm on Ancestor Hunt and I came down to Marriages and I can click through, scrolling down. It has it segregated by state and you can navigate through to the various state websites uh, right here. So click on Georgia, you will have ads. I'm gonna scroll down here and that will give me some information some tips, some notes, and then we'll start giving me links. Now some of these will go to Family Search, such as this one right here. It takes me to Family Search, but it takes me directly to that browse only image collection, as well as some searchable ones. Try another one, Barton County Wedding Announcements, and so on and so forth. Now, you see GenWeb, we're gonna be talking about GenWeb here in a, mo in a moment. But the important thing to know is you often want to start with a portal page to get to these little known websites because the portal pages tend to know where these little known websites are hiding for your specific location. So give those a try. If you know of some other portal pages that you like, be sure to tell us in the comment section below. Say favorite portal page and then drop a link. So the first little known or underutilized place to look for marriage records happens to be with your public libraries. I can't tell you the number of times I get contacted by a public librarian and say, hey, can you let people know we have these really great resources on our websites? Well, here's their wish is granted. For instance, in Montana, there is the Billings Public Library website. And when you go to the genealogical records on there, you're gonna find this Billings Gazette, which is a newspaper, and I love newspapers. But the public library has gone through and indexed a number of these vital record images. 
uh, in the newspapers and told you where you can find this information. So here's the Billings Gazette Public Library uh, website. So I'm going to click on this Vital Records J through L PDF. When I click on that, zoom in. And you're going to see, actually, this is a resource for a lot of information. But notice it says marriage event for Andrew Jackson in 1892. The place is Halbert and the newspapers is the Billings Gazette. You're going to see the Billings Gazette in various other um, spellings but this is the billing gazette so you know that's column's going to be right you see the location you can find marriage in all of these situations just because the resource is there doesn't mean your ancestor is going to be found but if you're struggling to find your ancestors in records for of marriage in billings montana here's another place to look and i really hope you succeed but if you know of a public library that does have some fantastic vital resources on their pages, go ahead and drop a link in the, in the comments section of this video so other people can go check it out and we can give these librarians some praise for the work that they have done. The next little known or underutilized place to look for your ancestors' marriage records is volunteer projects. Now, volunteer projects may or may not have the actual images. They often have indexes to the images, and that can help you in localities that don't have their images online. Very, very handy. So let me go ahead and show you two places that I consider volunteer projects. Now, the first of these volunteer project websites is US Gen Web. And this is a great free genealogy resource that you can pick any location. Let's go ahead and click Pennsylvania. And then we can go through and find Pennsylvania counties. Let's go ahead and do Mercer. And you're going to see that there's a number of different things that are located here. Now, not every GenWeb website is going to have all the information that you want to find vital records. But look, birth, marriage, and death for Mercer County, and I can start seeing some record collections that are over here. The next one is called Genealogy Trails, and Genealogy Trails currently has a number of broken images, but if you get into the states, let's say Massachusetts, you can come through here and learn about the history of Massachusetts, go to a county, and then start looking for marriages within that county. Not bad. This is an example. Another example from Montana. This is the Fergus County, Montana Genealogy Tra Trails website. And here's an index that they have to various um, marriages. And what I like is some of these extra wives. Wife previously married, wife previously married, so on and so forth. You can see these extra little notes that are taking place. And so again, while this isn't an original record, but it does give some support to volunteer genealogists around the world who provided information free for you. At some point, you want to become very familiar with the record collections that the state archives have for your location. So here is an example. So here is the Secretary of State State Archives Collections, which is the Oregon Historical Record Index. I want to look for a marriage record for Alexander Frazier. So I'm going to type in just the surname Frazier. I'm going to leave the year blank for now. I can always start broad and narrow down, something we talked about in previous videos. I'm going to scroll down here to marriage, and I'm just going to go ahead and do a broad search first. So the search is right there. Click search. And bada bing, bada boom, I found a marriage record for Alexandra Frazier, and it was in 1895 in Clatsop County, Oregon, which is what I was looking for. Unfortunately, I didn't see any other Frasers, so I can't do surname searches, but I could then go look for Yenru, his wife's surname, and see if there's any others that are having marriage records with that surname. But check out the state archives. You never know what they're going to have. Some of them actually have the digital images that you want, and some of them just get you the numbers here. There, for instance, this number 545528, I can now contact the repository for this 
Oregon State Archive that has this record and say, hey, can I get the original? Now, as I was studying states in the Southwest and the various record collections that they have, I came across a special collection from the BYU Family History um, Research Department and BYU-Idaho. Now, I've also come across various databases for a number of universities. I believe there was one in Virginia and there was one in Pennsylvania. It all depends on the research studies that various universities have. So go ahead and check out the universities in your area or serve the area in which your ancestor lived or served your ethnic groups. I've seen some ethnicity research projects that have been made available online. So let me show you the one I was talking about to get you inspired to see if you can find some special collection at various universities. So this is the Western State Marriage Record Index over at the BYU-Idaho spe Special Collections for their Family History Department. What I like about these special collections is they will often give you the reasons why the collections are compiled and created, what to expect, what's in them, what's not in them, and so on and so forth. So a significant number of marriages from selected counties in California, Western Colorado, Montana, Oregon, Utah, Eastern Washington, and Wyoming are included. Um, some early marriages from New Mexico, where I live, which is how I found this, are also here. And then they have a link to where you can see what is included by counties. So let's go ahead and do New Mexico, and then we can see the different counties. I didn't expect <laughs> Los Alamos County can be here because the county was created in 1940, but I can see some of these other counties that have some records. There's not a lot, but what they uh, tell me in this instructions is that they, this is an ongoing project and new things are added all of the time, so check back often. Uh, so let's go ahead and search the Western Marriage Index. You would search it just like you would any other database and um, do a broad search and do something narrow. Now, you have to pay attention to this one. I made the mistake <laughs> of not making sure that I selected whether it was a bride or a groom and then I get frustrated. So make sure you look at the nuances for each database. So I'm going to do a groom search for Lamborn. Getting married in Utah. Now, notice they have, oops, let me show this to you. They have Utah and Utah Territory, so make sure you choose the right one. It's not the same. You have to be very specific in this one. That's something you have to learn based on the databases you're using, but I want to see that they were married in Utah. I'm going to go ahead and click search, and I have a number of Lamborns who were married in Utah. The one I was looking for happened to be Alfred, and here is the information, and... It tells me it's in the Cache County Record, Volume 7, Page 8. Now I have the information and I can go over to Cache County, Utah and look for that specific record. If I'm struggling to find it somewhere else, sometimes I come to this database and it'll give me the information to go elsewhere. They have had a number of different collections that appear in this database rather than just county records. The, the depth is pretty broad and I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this. So now, did I miss anything that people aren't utilizing? I mean, sure, we can say go to Family Search, Ancestry, Find My Pies, My Heritage, and go to the National Archives for various records. But I want to know where if there's something that's not being utilized that is a dirty little secret or an underutilized secret in genealogy to find marriage records for your ancestors. Be sure to share all of that in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more genealogy tips, be sure to check out the playlist right above. And if you want to see the latest video from Family History Fanatics, check out this one right here. There are many places where you can find genealogy. Oh, that. <laughs>